Hey everyone, welcome back for more XO Zero's content. Today's video, we're going to discuss the new core reverse chance for Emma. So I'm a bit happy that Emma got her core reverse because um, from actually day one of the game, I actually was able to get her and have had her uh, in my roster ever since. It was just recently that I got her fate core um, in some random banner. So um, I'm happy that I already pulled for her. So let's take a look at her new fate core. So as, as for the design, it's still the same. So it's that, that usually happens um, for, for a core reverse. So let's go, go to her skills, her passive. So again, she has cleanse 3. So cleanses damage over time, debuffs, ex effects from allies and gains mana. 1 mana. So gains mana. Additionally, if health of target is at 20% or less when triggered. And gains mana if health of target is at 70% or more when triggered. So that's good that she, she gains uh, her own mana. She is actually good also in your Dragon. That is why she has Dragonite Blessing and Head Dragonite. But let's move on to the most interesting part of, uh, of her kit, which is her additions. So she has two new passive skills, which I'll read. Nobility, so debuff increases the defense of attacking enemy by 20% of the caster's maximum health for seven turns if the caster survives an attack stacks up to four times so this one uh i think it's it's kind of good because most of us don't usually it's either it's either we don't mind emma during a battle or we kill her outright so if you try to make sure that she has enough health and survivability this can be a nuisance actually to the attacking hero uh because if she survives she she gives that 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 attacker uh another uh minus 20 percent in their defense so it's a maximum of 80 percent to be stacked by four and also she has another passive which is pass recollection so it's a mark decreases the defense of all enemies by 30 percent of the caster's maximum health for 10 turns when caster dies so again, this is a good, for me, it's it's a good uh, mark or a good passive because usually it's, again, it's either we kill her first or we don't, we don't mind her at all. So in this case, um, when she has this mark, she will be left alone. But if you leave her alone, I'm sure she'll be dealing much more damage, especially that now we have signature force. So it's a dilemma between you leaving her alone and you finishing her off early. So it's actually a decision whether you take uh, a lot of a lot of negative defense early on, or you just take her hits. But if you take her hits as well, she will also give you decreased attack. So it's a dilemma in which you have to solve on your own when you face FC Emma this time. So for again, let's go back to her nobility. So her, so for her nobility, I think she can be, um, she can be very good because if you equip her initially with uh, with red guardian stones, you'll have. If you don't awaken her yet, you'll get um, damage reduction. But if you awaken her, you'll get a maximum of five thousand HP, um, and that's that's very big already a bump. So for her kit, just take note, there are only two stats that you need to increase, her HP, and also you need to increase her attack for her S2 skill. Okay, let's go, go over her skills. So her skills is Touch of Dusk, require, required mana is 3. There is no change in this one, so it deals 525% damage to one enemy. And her S2 is Soul Capture, required mana is 4. And deals 375% damage to one enemy. No change as well. And has a debuff. Decreases attack of target by 50% of own attack for 9 turns. That is why I told you guys to make sure that you decrease her attack for... Uh, decrease, sorry, to increase her attack for this one. So that she can provide decreased attack to the enemies. 
So overall, I think her kit is what she really needs. Um, Emma is actually not really a damage dealer. She's a disruptor. She's a, she's in a support role, but she her role is really to disrupt and to make sure that the other team members deal more damage and um, make sure that uh, the, the damage multipliers increase because of her increased defense and also she protects herself because of the decreased attack that she gives the enemies. We'll go through her exclusive weapon. Again, for, for her exclusive weapon, um, I'm not recommending that you that you get this because um, you can actually get this at random at the door of creation. Uh, but if you like, if you really like uh, FC Emma's new kit and you would like to increase her, her her combat combat power, I think you can actually pull for her. But I'm not recommending this one. So again, this is a 0.7% chance of getting her 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 weapon. As well as for her Black Fate core. So she's a Black Fate core. And you'll be getting her her Fate core for a 0.7% chance as well. So I if if I were to choose, I'd, I'd rather spend my CES on pulling for her. For her Fate core. Um, I'm not really recommending that you pull additional... additional um, uh, copies of her fate core one I, I think is actually good for now um, if you but if you would like to increase more of her stats be my guest you can actually uh, um, summon for for other copies of her but for now I think one is good with her kit um, she is actually again uh, viable now in pvp tag i'm i'm not sure if i would recommend her yet for your main pvp team but i i could be wrong um her nobility stat or so her sorry her nobility passive is kind of similar to fc iris's uh wet fog um but it's a bit uh toned down it's a bit uh watered down if you might say um but again i might be wrong uh, from where this FC goes now, it it's actually a good improvement for her, but it may take her further up. So again, if you get her FC, you will actually not regret it and you would actually be very thankful that you got her. Um, I would suggest you try to summon for her because of her debuffs alone in her new passive. Um, she could be a average or good FC, but she could also be meta or she could change the game as well. We're not sure about that because we have to do some playtesting for this one. But I'm sure she is going to disrupt the meta. Um, I'm really happy that, that she has her FC. I've been waiting for her FC for, for, for a long time already. Uh, and I hope that this one would actually be or would actually give her more uh, usage in terms of content especially in pvp so that's it for me guys um if you have any comments on emma's or fc emma's new kit please put them below also don't forget to subscribe and support my channel so this is the warden and i'm out